that's something resembling the solo. So. Okay, so a few things we need to take care of before we start putting this clean tone together. Number one, we're running the latest Helix firmware update, which is 3.7. And then secondly, with our guitars, we wanna make sure we've got the pickup selector set to the fourth position here between the neck and the middle. Okay, so jumping in on our clean tone, first block we're gonna pull in is the Grammatico amp, okay? So just the amp, not the cab. So this one is set up to emulate a dumbbell. So once we've got that, we then wanna lay our speaker cab to go with it, which has just gone for the one by 12 matching cab there, which is the Grammatico. And then on our split here, I've got a two by 12 Mesa cab, which I've got coming in and around at the back of our reverb here, okay, which is just a dynamic hall reverb there. And then moving along, I've gone with the bucket brigade delay there. Okay, but feel free to change that one up if you've got some delay preferences. All right, really quickly, I'm gonna show you how to put a split in your signal path. So for example, this block I've just got sitting down here, I'm gonna turn that on, push the action button to bring up this menu screen. And then all you do is just pull down on your joystick and that makes a split just like that. So now we've got our signal path laid out. Let's jump in and check out these settings. So for the amp, really straightforward. I've just got the drive norm sitting at zero, the drive bright in our second parameter sitting pretty much at, in the middle position at 4.7. The bass is at 4.4, the tone is at 6.9, the treble at seven, and the channel volume is at 6.7. Again, you might have subtle variations depending on your guitar and pickup configuration, but that's pretty straightforward there. All right. With our impulse response, depends what you've got. I've just gone for a two by 12 Mesa cab there, and then a one by 12 Grammatico there, which is just set stock standard. I haven't done any tweaking to that straight out of the preset. With the reverb here, we come across, I've set the decay at 3.7 and the pre-delay at 50 milliseconds, room size at 20 meters, diffusion at 70%, and then the dampening at 3.7 kilohertz. But the mix, I've got that on the clean channel at 44%. And then with the Bucket Brigade there, pretty straightforward there. So 238 milliseconds for time. Feedback's at 43%. The noise is at 2.8. The mix is at 50% down the middle. The level is equal at 0 dB and headroom's at 0 dB there. One thing to keep in mind, and it's just as important as the settings that we put on the Helix, is where we're actually playing in relation to our pickups. So listen to the tone difference here. As I move back, okay, we get those tonal variations. So, so you can see where I'm picking in between that neck pickup and that middle position there. All right, cool, so on to our dirty tone. Pretty much the only changes I'm gonna make to that, I've set that up in a snapshot already, is I've just dropped in an overdrive pedal in front of that configuration. And what we've got there is I've just set the, it's just a Stupa OD, which is based on the Boss SD1. And we've just got the drive at 6.3, the tones straight up and down at five, and the level is at five there as well. Another key tweak compared to our clean tone that I've done with this is I've just gone in with the reverb and then made a subtle change just so it doesn't get too boomy or wash it out uh, with the mix. So I've set that down to 30% as opposed to 45, it was sitting on the clean setting. All right, one key detail people with their pickup configuration on the dirtier signal is I've got that set to the middle. So nice and, <laughs> nice and biting there to give us that tone. All right, people, see how you go. Don't be afraid to tweak some of the amp settings or pedal settings to suit your particular pickups that you've got in your Strat. If you've got any questions on how you can better achieve this tone that we've put together on the Helix today, drop me a line in the comment section. More than happy to hear from you people there. Also, if you want to support the channel, check out my latest online course, which is the High Point Music Guitar Fundamentals Program. You can master the contemporary skill sets of contemporary guitar with these unique online program there. And also if you wanna sign up and support the content I'm putting out on this channel, drop us a link or a donation on the Patreon page there for only $1 per month. You can support me to pump out as much content as I can for you wonderful viewers. Hope you enjoy this one, people. My name is Ryan White. I'm gonna catch you all in the next video.